time to time, police officers have had to endure the risk of fatal and sometimes life-threatening injury as well as highly stressful and traumatic conditions in the, cast, in the course of serving and protecting us. This hospital demonstrates that we have come of age and are willing to acknowledge and embrace and take measures to rehabilitate those affected by post-traumatic stress disorder as well as combat trauma. The Kanyonyo Sports Complex, which is still under construction, represents our commitment to the holistic health and well-being of members by providing leisure and recreation facilities which not only enhance physical fitness, but nurtures athletic and sporting talent while also giving positive psychological intervention. It is therefore important, with the support of the Government of Kenya, that the Inspector General considers ways and means of actualizing the promise of this complex by ensuring that the service employs sufficient specialist medical professionals. Nimeona ya kwamba hapa muko na daktari mmoja na health workers wengine. Um, please work out with the Ministry of Health on the level of personnel required in this facility so that we can work with the Inspector General to make sure there are adequate human resource, doctors, nurses, clinical officers, and all other critical care staff to manage this facility optimally. The border police airstrip is critical to the police work for logistical and operational support, as well as emergency transport to evacuate casualties, insert and extract de deployed tactical units and supply essentials. This form of support is essential for officers working in difficult, distant and volatile areas and can make the difference between success and failure. For this reason, it is important, as I have said, that this airstrip is completed and I undertake that the Ministry of Transport will do the completion and ensure that all necessary navigation equipment is available to make this facility operational. Let me take this opportunity again to congratulate our disciplined forces for standing firm to defend our nation. I want to commit to you that we will respect the independence of the police, the operational independence of the police, the financial independence of our units, for them to discharge their responsibilities without fear, without favor, without bias, so that every Kenyan can enjoy the services of our security men and women. I have already informed the leadership of our police that we do not need them to assist us on matters politics. We have enough lobby groups, we have enough pressure groups, we have enough officials or parties to work with us on matters politics. The only thing that we ask of you is to discharge your mandate and make sure that all Kenyans are safe. Their property is safe, and our country is safe. That's all we ask of you. It is your constitutional mandate, and we will do our utmost to support you so that you can discharge your mandate. I also want to single the men and women in our disciplined forces who refused to be recruited into political schemes and machinations in the last general election. I commend you for your professionalism, for your commitment to country, and for being independent of all political and other persuasion. And it is right what you did. 
it is necessary for our friends to know that the servers were open when we all went to the polling station, the IEBC, and our agents. The servers were open when we all were identified biometrically, and each and every one was, of us was given a vote to cast. The servers were open. It is also true that when the counting was done and the results were posted on the portal, the servers were open. It is also true that when the IEBC was tallying results at BOMAS, the servers were open. It is also true that when the matters went for validation in court, the servers were open. It is also true that when the court made a determination of the last general election, the servers were open. To now turn around and pretend that servers to be open at this point in time is to take us for granted, is to believe that there are fools in Kenya. I want to tell our friends that the servers have always been open. They were open during the identification. They were open during the voting. They were open during the posting of the results. They were open during the tallying in bombers. They were open when the results were announced. They were open when the matters went to court. The servers were open when the court determined the election. To now pretend and tell us about servers is an insult to our collective intelligence, is an insult to our democracy. And I will inform you that there is a big shortage of fools in Kenya. And let me, for the record, paraphrase Bob Marley, who said, you can fool all the people sometime, and you can fool some of the people all the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. So, let us understand one another.